Simple Decorating Tips and Frame and Frills presents Knob Transfers. I'm going to show you how to change the look of these stainless steel knobs with the knob transfers we have in stock. Okay, so here's the knobs. They were little sort of brushed stainless steel and I painted them with First I used Ultra Grip, wiped on a coat of Ultra Grip, let that cure for at least 12 hours. And then I painted them with picket fence. Um, you know, painting things like this, it takes lots of coats and picket fence is one of the fusion mineral paints that does take probably four coats for solid coverage. So, um, these little knobs, I painted at least four coats of that. So now I'm going to go over them with um, this Prima Transfer we have in the shop. And it is the, let's see if I can get this in here. It's the knob transfer. This is the vintage rose. And there are several beautiful, fun choices um, of different ones. Some are groups of four, the clocks. Um, there's a group of three in the black, and then I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a group of four in white, so that'd look cool on a black knob. Um, just the scripts, different flowers. So the ones I'm choosing, these are for the pantry cupboard that I painted, are these really pretty little sort of wildflowers. So I'm gonna cut them apart. And the thing with transfers, with this I'm not going to, but you can layer them on top of each other. I do that a lot. And so you can cut them out. You can carefully cut around this shape. Maybe you want this leaf on a different one. You can cut that off and put it on something else. So it's not like, oh, this is how it's printed. This is how it has to be. Um, that's not true. So you can move it around and sort of design it how you want. So now I've got to figure out, try to make this sort of centered on here. And this um, set comes with the standard um, rubbing tool that's actually like a thick sort of plywood um, stained plywood rubbing tool. Some of the smaller ones come with these, just a simple popsicle stick. And I actually have this because I'm going to be, it's kind of a round shape. Um, so I brought that too from the cupboard two feet away. And then I have this, which is my um, transfer rubbing tool, transfer tool. And I didn't know going on something hard if I would want that too. It's kind of nice to have an assortment. I do wind up using different ones on the same transfer. So there's not an up and a down because it's round. So I just got to see if I can try to make sure it's centered. The thing with transfers, once it goes, oh, oh dear, once it goes on, it's pretty much on. I mean, it's pretty hard to move it. I think that's pretty. So right now the center's stuck. Let's just see if we can, yeah, see, I can't lift that off you to rip it. Okay, so we're gonna go around a curved surface, which can be a little tricky. Sometimes it can kind of get little creases in it. Now, this is the first time that I have done these knobs. So we're learning together here. I go from the center out and what it is is the bottom part that I peeled off so I peeled off this wax paper that it's on and then it's on this clear translucent acetone or whatever I mean, that's not the right word whatever this um, plastic that it's on so it's just stuck on it and then on this side is the sticky side and it's really 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 sticky and so you put that down on wherever you want to put it and then you're rubbing it to get it to release from this clear plastic film that the face of it is stuck on and then you get it stuck where you want it hopefully that's the plan so 
I'm just going around and pushing it down. One thing you really don't want with transfers is you don't want to get air bubbles in there. So that's why I'm working from the center going down. If I was to work from the outsides and go in, there's a really good chance that I'm going to wind up with an air bubble right there. And if you wind up with an air bubble, I have not been successful to force it back out because the rust around there is so stuck on. Um, what I've had to do actually is take a pin and prick it and just sort of try to squish the transfer flat. And that, that has worked. Um, one time I did rip the transfer pricking it with the pin. So i to be careful. Okay, so I can tell it's off. You can see that it's lifted off. I still go slow just in case there's a little part that's attached. Okay, now if you can see this. Let's see if I can oh, I stuck these in here. Can you see right here? There's like a little edge of the transfer. It's called the halo. There's like a clear um, sticky part around the edge and that's what secures it as well. So it's lifted up. So what you do after you get your transfer on, I go back with my finger and then just, and as I'm doing this, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's like little tiny parts that are up that I can see are getting pushed down. So like this big guy right here, boom, he's down. So there, that's what I do. And then if it's a bigger transfer, and even on this one, I go back and I get it with the palm of my hand to make sure it's down. See if I'm feeling any air bubbles because you don't want air bubbles on there if you're gonna because you have to glaze over or um you know top coat over it and that can make it lift up. Okay, there we go. All right, so same thing from the center. I'm gonna rub it out with my finger and you can see your finger is not going to be enough. I mean sometimes you can kind of take your fingernail and do this but that's going to be fatiguing if you do that. And so this tool actually did work. That's all I needed. That did work the best. And if I try this little guy. Yeah. Actually on the curve this is almost better. So when you hear that crunching sound, that's the transfer lifting off of that plastic, which is a good sound. We want to hear that. There, it looks like it's all lifted off. Now, there's one little section here that's not. So if I try to lift this, there's a really, yeah, you can see how it's still staying on the transfer. See how the rest is lifted off and it's kind of fuzzy. You can't see it so well. You know that there's air between this plastic and the transfer. So it's lifted off. Where it's still really clear, like right there, if I just pull this off, that is going to just pull that transfer up and it's going to rip it because it's extremely thin I don't know, plastic or vinyl, or it's not vinyl, it's plastic. So, um, go back and rub it, and I can see right here it looks like it's still connected to. Okay, so now let's see, when I lift this, if anything lifts off, I stop right away and put it back down, but it didn't. And then, see, here's a spot where it's not all the way down, so I go with my finger first, push it down. Obviously I'm not going to go this way because that sticky part that's still up might wind up sticking on my finger and same thing. I mean it's kind of like common sense I'm sure. Okay, here is my Fusion 
tough coat in the gloss finish. You don't want to shake this, even though there's just a tiny bit left here. It's probably not an issue, but um, you still want to roll it. You can swirl it, but if you shake it, you're gonna get bubbles in there and that's not gonna be good. Because you can get bubbles in there and they will um, stay, be introduced in your finish. So they'll stay and it won't look great. So here is the tray. Just need a little tiny bit. Normally when I do furniture, I don't use a paintbrush. I use an applicator sponge that's been dampened and I dip it in, scrape most of it off, and then just wipe the furniture. But for these, um, I'm just gonna paint it on and I'm not worried about it getting streaky or cloudy. So that gives you an idea for what it looks like. Pop that back over there, cute, huh? The last detail I did was paint the stem part of the knobs black. It's so fun, the transformation that the knob transfers offered from brushed stainless steel to this vintage country look. The knob transfers and the paint and the ultra grip and tough coat are all available at Frame and Frills.